You're watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Well, welcome back into BBN Tonight. The Kentucky baseball season is winding down just seven very important games left on their schedule. That's right, and it all starts tomorrow night on the road. The Cats are in Columbia, South Carolina for a three-game series against the Gamecocks. South Carolina is just ahead of Kentucky in the SEC standing, so the Cats need a win here bad. First game is tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on the SEC Network Plus. Saturday's noon game will be on the SEC Network, and then they'll finish this one out Sunday at 1.30 back on the SEC Network Plus. And as always, our guy Darren Hedrick Woo. will also be on the call for the UK Sports Network if you want to listen on the radio. And one of the most fun things about watching this Kentucky baseball team this season is that a lot mm -hmm. of the guys on the field making these big plays are homegrown, especially from Eastern Kentucky. Yes, the 606 area code. Ooh. Chase Eastep, Darren Williams, and Mason Moore talk about what it means to them to play for their home state school. Coming up and playing here, uh, the biggest part of it is like not forgetting everybody at home um, and then carrying yourself, you know, like somebody that you would want representing. You know, if I would want, had somebody here, I'd want them to represent me correctly. So I think we all collectively try to do the same. So like for me, it's I've always, as a little kid, wanted to play here at the University of Kentucky. I think I speak for a lot of kids that are here from Kentucky that want to play here. And, uh, you know, back home, I'm just trying to make everybody proud, you know, especially my family, my friends, my former coaches. It means so much to me just because my eight-year-old self, when I just started falling in love with baseball, would be so thrilled for me to put that Kentucky uniform on. And I, I'm thrilled every single day to do it. I take every day, you know, no days for granted. Enjoy the process. Uh, yeah, uh, it's just kind of a constant reminder um, that you're playing for something, you know, more than yourself. I put 606 on one side and my last name on the other. So, um, you know, even the moments of good and bad, I remember, you know, there's a bigger, there's a bigger picture than just me. Oh, it's 100%, I think, for our area. It's a, it's definitely all Kentucky blue. Um, you know, a lot of credit to basketball, but, you know, I think more, you know, uh, as kids come here to play other sports from our area. You know, we've had a few from our area come play football here, too, so I think the area is just growing more and more. So um, it's kind of exciting. You know, you know everybody's on your side. <sighs> I, I want to say about 95% of them are Kentucky fans, and you know, since I'm I'm kind of well known from where I'm from, and you know, them seeing me here, they just they all they all want me to succeed. I mean, it's it, it's crazy. I mean, it's our professional sports team from you know Maysville. I'd say 80% of all people are diehard Kentucky football and basketball fans, and now baseball fans too. So I mean, they they treat it like it's their professional sports team. home just a little uh, country twang you know that uh, I've heard plenty of times at home uh, you know whether it's a joke or serious you know that's just kind of um, a thing that you know we just kind of went with and obviously it's stuck here too. There's actually a funny story behind that it was uh, at a basketball tournament and my uh, cousin Landon Sloan was coaching uh, Paintsville at the time and uh, a fight broke out and then the announcers kind of Kind of says 606 by God as in like anything could happen from where I'm from and uh, from then on it just kind of it just kind of stuck. I don't really worry so much about people that think of me as a baseball player, you know, more as just a person. Um, so I'm just hoping that they, you know, if they look at me, then they see that I did it right. Um, and then if I didn't do it right, they can learn from it, you know, and continue the same trend. You know, those kids look up to you. All the kids that play and work out and see me around, you know, that just gives them hope that, you know, I can achieve my dreams just because I was in their spot 10 years ago you know, working out, not knowing any where I'd end up. And I think all of them look up to me and say, hey, if he can do it, I can do it too. So, you know, they, they bust their tails when, especially when I get around them, for sure. Such a great message and really good that. perspective. I mean, those yeah. guys are college kids. Awesome perspective for them to I already know that. They that. bust their tails. Yes. All right, we'll be right back with more BBN tonight.